Hi everyone, today we're making cabbage steaks. Now, if you've never had a cabbage steak before, or maybe you're not that crazy about cabbage in general, stick around and watch this video because I think I'm gonna transform your opinion of that. What we're gonna do is roast our cabbage in the oven. And what that's gonna do is it's going to caramelize the exterior of it, get it a little bit crunchy, and the inside stays nice and tender. We're also gonna be seasoning this up with some olive oil, some fresh garlic, I'm gonna be using some fresh herbs, and I'm even gonna garnish it up with some chopped up bacon and some walnuts. Now you can leave the bacon off if you wanna keep it vegetarian or vegan, but I'm telling you the flavors together, this thing is dynamite. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. Here's our first chef joke. A cabbage, a tap, and a tomato were in a race. The cabbage was ahead, the tap was running, and the tomato tried to catch up. We're gonna start off by preheating our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I got that going over there. You're gonna need a green cabbage like this one right here. And it's organic. And what you wanna do is peel off some of the outer leaves of it. Some of them, you know, they look a little discolored. Just get the, just one layer of, of leaves and take those off. And then I'm gonna cut this in half and we wanna leave the core intact, okay? It's actually a little brown, so I'm gonna cut off a bit of it just so that we get rid of that. Then I'm gonna place one half of the head up on its side and I'm gonna cut slices that are about an inch, three quarters to one inch thick. And then we'll place our slices, our cabbage steaks, on a parchment paper covered baking sheet here. And you wanna space them out. I'm only gonna put three on, on here. I'm gonna do two, two trays. But you wanna space them out enough so they're not touching and that way they can roast really well. Now it's time to make our mixture. Now you wanna use uh, olive oil for this and we're gonna measure in for a whole head of cabbage. We're gonna measure in, we'll start with a quarter of a cup of olive oil here. And to that, we're gonna add some of our minced garlic that I minced up. I did several cloves here to really give it a nice garlicky flavor. And as it roasts in the oven, it's gonna mellow out the flavor. And then I'm gonna be adding some of this coconut aminos. I really like this. It's sort of a soy substitute and it gives the cabbage, which doesn't have a lot of flavor, it gives it a little bit of, little extra something. So I'm always looking for the flavor here. Now I'm just gonna pour some of this in, probably about maybe a couple of tablespoons. And give that a stir. I just do it until my, uh, my mixture gets nice and dark. All right, we'll give that a stir, and then we're gonna just spread this over all of the cabbage. I'm gonna use a brush, and I'm gonna make sure that I get, you see this, all the garlic? I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of that garlic on each piece, because that's nothing but flavor. Now is when you wanna salt and pepper each piece, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt over all. I didn't mix it in with the sauce because I was afraid the salt and the pepper would drop to the bottom and then it wouldn't get any salt in there like I'd like. Now we'll flip these over and we'll coat the second side the same as the first. Now I have some bacon here that I'm gonna chop up into little crumbles. And you can add this or not, this is totally optional. The basic part of this recipe is, is the olive oil and the salt and pepper. You could just do that and be done with it, but I like to enhance flavors a lot. So that's why I'm going with the garlic and the bacon and some walnuts for a nice crunch. If you need a tutorial on how to cook bacon in a pan, I have the perfect video for you. I'll leave a link in the description. Then I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the top of each piece, each steak. All right, we're gonna place these in the oven at 400 degrees for uh, 30 minutes, and then we'll see where we're at. Since I have two pans, we'll be putting the second pan underneath the first in the oven. All right, our cabbage steaks are in the oven for 30 minutes. That means we have time for chef joke number two. Why didn't the cabbage win the race? Because he wasn't a head of lettuce. 
today I'm adding some toasted walnuts to our dish. So what you want to do is just pour some walnuts into a dry saucepan over medium to medium low heat, wash them close, and just toss them for a few minutes until they turn a golden brown. Then we'll chop them up and I'll put these on top of our cabbage steaks when they come out of the oven, along with some herbs. So I like to finish it off with some fresh herbs. I've got parsley here, and I'm removing most of the stems. I just want the leaves, basically. And then I'm gonna add some of my favorite herb, basil. This adds so much flavor, it's great. So I'll roll up those leaves, those basil leaves, and chop it up. And then we'll just sprinkle the herbs over the top of all the steaks. These are so delicious, I'm telling you. Crunchy on the outside, nice and soft and tender and creamy on the inside. You are gonna love cabbage after you make this, I'm telling you. The bacon is awesome. The garlic is so mellow and just throughout the whole thing. The outside is a little crispy. I love those crispy edges. The inside is nice and tender. It's moist. It is just something you've got to try. Now I have another recipe for you that I think would go great with this. It's my turkey thighs in, cooked in the Instant Pot. I'll leave a link for you over here and you can check that out. That's a pretty quick recipe. This is relatively quick. You can put this together. You're going to think it's dynamite. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and if you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and smash the like button for me. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time.